Lord, we come before you in Jesus' mighty name, praising you and thanking you for another thing that promised. Thank you, Jesus, for letting us come boldly to your throne. Thank you, Jesus, for letting us open your book, open the book, the word, the word, the two-edged sword, the sword of the Spirit. Thank you, Jesus, as we read this in Ezra chapter 5, I pray that you, Holy Spirit, open the eyes, give us chariots of fire. Jesus mighty name let us retain the word and retell the word in Jesus name Holy Spirit the Bible says that you will be my spirit of remembrance in Jesus name come in agreement make it ready learn our lives let us retain let us chew and swallow the word and let it be recorded in our hearts in Jesus mighty name amen amen Now the prophets Haggai and Zechariah, son, grandson of Ido, prophesied to the Jews in Judah and Jerusalem in the name of the God of Israel, whose spirit was upon them. Then rose up Zerubbabel, son of Shelter heir to the throne of Judah and Jeshua son of Josadak and began to build the house of God in Jerusalem and with them were the prophets of God which are Haggai and Zechariah helping them then Tetanai governor of the west side of the Euphrates river and Shethar Bozanai and their companions came to them and said who authorized you to build this house and to restore this wall then we told them in reply the names of the men who were building this building but the eye of their god was upon the elders of the jews so the enemy could not make them stop until the matter came before darius one and an answer was returned by letter concerning it. You know how long it takes to get a letter back in the days? It must have been really... Not this is not a text message or an email. Or a or 20 minute YouTube? Yeah, it's not. Video? Yeah. This is a copy of the letter that Tetanai, governor of the side of the river, and Shethar, Bozanai and his associates, the Afrasakites, who were on the west side of the river, sent to Darius I, the king. They wrote, To Darius the king, all peace. Be it known to the king that we went to the prov province of Judah, to the house of the great God, and is being built with huge stones with timber laid in the walls this work goes on with diligence and care and prospers in their hands then we asked those elders who authorized you to build this house and restore these walls we asked their names also that we might record the names in, of the men at their head and notify you they replied we are servants of the god of heaven and earth rebuilding the house which was erected and finished many years ago by a great king of israel but after our fathers had provoked the god of heaven to wrath he gave them into the hand of nebuchadnezzar king of babylon the chaldean who destroyed this house and carried the people away into babylon the Chaldean. But in the first year of Cyrus, king of Babylon, the king, the same king Cyrus, made a decree to rebuild this house of God. He made a decree. Yes. And Nebuchadnezzar, when they took him, that's when they lived with the three Hebrew boys, Daniel, and the rest of the names. Brad Shaggy, Shaggy, and Abednego? Yes. 
So in those words when Nebuchadnezzar then after he made that decree that this is the God they serve go to and then he was disobedient. And then he made him for like seven years run around like a goat eating grass and all that. So then yeah, God punished him and then he restored him back again. So they knew. So at that time that's when they the temple got destroyed and they took all the stuff and they looted. And the reason we got punished too, because they were drinking off and using all the stuff from the temple. Sounds like modern day Yeah. And the vessels also of gold and silver of the house of God, which Nebuchadnezzar took from the temple in Jerusalem and brought it into the temple of Babylon. Straight gave them. Disrespect was his God stuff made specifically for God for the holy and the police. King Cyrus took from the temple of Babylon and delivered to a man named Sheshbazar. Did I say that right? Whom he had made governor. And King Cyrus said to him, Go take these vessels to Jerusalem and carry them into the temple and let the house of God be built upon its site. Then came this Shesh Bazaar and laid the foundation of the house of God in Jerusalem and since that time until now it has been in the process of being rebuilt and is not completed yet. Till today, you think? That temple got knocked down, and that's why the Jews right now, this time, they only have the wall, and they go break little things on the wall and all that, and they read the scrolls. To the day they have the scrolls of the, up there, um, but they're trying to raise the third temple. But what happens when the Muslims took over right where the temple was at, because it takes a good amount, mm -hmm. they set up their mosque on top of the temple, and now the Muslims don't want to give up that land because they say it's their right. So the only way to raise the third temple is they have to knock that mosque down. And this is what's leading to the war right now in between Hamas and Jerusalem. Because if they knock that temp that mosque down, um, it's all wage it's all out war in the Middle East. I mean it's already kinda there, but that's gonna be the last straw. And it's gonna get knocked down. The third temple is gonna be right. They already have the the uh, the red heifer. Every, everything is already happening, everything's already in play. They have this whoever is able to bring the peace when they knock that temple down, they're considering him the, the Antichrist. That's going to be like the guy who, once they knock, because they're going to knock that, they're going to knock down the mosque. They're going to take it out to build up their temple by force. Either the Muslims agree, which they are not, but whoever can promote the peace that the third temple, once they knock the mosque, or they do it, that's considered the most powerful person that he's able to bring peace to the Middle East. Because right now Russia, like Turkey, China, and all of them are backing up Iran and all, all the other countries. All the US is backing up Israel. So right now it's kind of like World War Three. They call it proxy when they haven't fully engaged on, but they're having a the little miniature wars. See right now we're going against Taiwan and China, so beef with China or Taiwan and chips, AI. And then we're beefing with Russia and Ukraine another proxy war to like distract to suck resources out of Russia and China. So in the Bible they consider Russia the bear and it's in the Bible. And they consider China the dragon and they consider Iran the ram. And it's in the Bible. And that's what's happening. And then later on it's called Gog, Magog, and all that. And, and this is what's happening. The, the prophecy is being fulfilled. The Bible is getting played out right now as we speak. And they're raising the third temple, and we're getting ready for it. So it's going to get uglier again. See, we're going broke as a country because we keep pumping money, spending, and we owe more than twenty trillion dollars to China, and we don't plan to pay them back. And China already has all its operatives all over here in our country. They're everywhere. In every Chinatown, they have spies and technology. And I told you they're ahead on our five G or like a six G. It's, it's, it's nasty. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a kind of impossible judgment. So the last 
verse 17 says so now if it seems good to the king let a search be made to the royal archives there in babylon to see if it is true that king cyrus issued a decree to build this house of god at jerusalem and let the king send us this pleasure in this matter this concludes chapter five says speak the word thank you god for giving me the difference i need in order to press on in the work you have given me to do and for causing it to prosper in my hands adapted from ezra 5 8 but it be known to the king that we went to the province of judah to the house of the great god it is being built with huge stones with timber laid in the walls this work goes on with diligence and care and prospers in their hands. Sounds like they just deserve our writing him out. You're doing such a good job building the temple. In Jesus' name. Some almighty running to the king and wife.